See, I I've said it before. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it again. I don't think teams think into map picks and bans enough. Because in, in a sense, you know, you would think that you would just leave Foundation out let, there, let right? Me, you, exactly. you think about it like this. You, you've never seen Foundation. I don't think we've seen Foundation as a map three in a very long time. It's always in very, the first two. Very so if you do have the time. first selection, hey, leave it out there. All right. I, I think you got to get you got to get creative, especially considering map number three was was lift, correct? Yeah. Optic Gaming has never lost lift online. Mm, mm, mm. They're five and five. I, but the, I do I, I do agree with you. I don't pick Foundation first. I pick I agree with you. Pick the, the second best. The map, map that you should have picked was Forge. If you were trying to play the Optic Gaming's weakness, that's the, the, the map that they also came back on Team MGS on that six two coming. Ah, I, I think honestly, to, to be brutally honest, I think if there were stats readily available to all of our players about teams, map percentages. Which will, map, be, uh, which, which will happen one day. Map, maps very be, optimistic. Maps would be very different. I mean, I have I have it on four teams, I think. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you right now, it'd be very, very different. I think you got to think more creative. Personally, that's just my opinion. Obviously, the, the pros are going to have their own their own way. <laughs> yeah. Even if it, even if it's I agree, wrong. but it, it definitely comes down to making sure we do the research here early on, all right? Absolutely. But as we said, North American 2K final underway. Optic Gaming, United. Optic going to be our blue squad, e United, our red squad. And if you are just tuning in for the first time watching competitive Gears of War, this is Escalation. Escalation, of course, the newest game mode to Gears of War. Yeah, and it, it's going to be first to seven rounds wins the map. Now, you, it's the best out of three when it comes out of maps. So you have to win two maps, but in order to win a round, it's first to 210 points, or you have to get a trip cap and a trip cap. And what we call trip caps around here, they're called domination. So uh, getting a domination or first to 210 points, win a round. Losing team is able to place a power weapon or a secondary weapon somewhere on the map to help them uh, winning the next round, you know. So going forward here, we're going to see, you know, who wants to come out on top. You know, we're gonna, so this opening break here, we saw Ice in these guys. They came through, they broke Ice to start off, right? They went through open, and they were fine. They were fine, they were doing good, but now they're going to go down, they're going to be at a disadvantage here, Vincent. Yes, they are. Looking at God Plays, of course. Uh, God Plays, a, a player, as we mentioned, who kind of started off on, on a fight night, if you will, made that unbelievable play. We saw his movement come through, and ever since then, we've been kind of preaching about this guy for such a long, long time. Uh, it, it's great to see him now fall into an organization like e United, but how impactful will he be? That's going to be the question early on in this one. It's Optic Gaming with the lead. However, e United do hold a 2-1 to one hill advantage, so of course they're going to be earning more points than the opposition, so that lead is going to be reduced pretty quickly, and you're going to see now e United actually going to the lead for the first time, I believe, in this round. Now, here's the rule. When you hold a 2-cap, you get 1.5 points here. So we're going to start to see these guys slowly move up here into the lead. That's going to be e United. They're looking good here. They will have some players fall here, fighting for the neutral heal at B. Summons picks up a double kill, and after the game, he's looking good. You're going to see that B heal in your top left-hand screen start to decap and go in favor of Optic Gaming here. And now they're in a good position. They're going to hold a two-cap. They don't have to play for the domination just yet. you got a few players on E United on respawn. And also, folks, the respawn timers will increase at the end of every single round. So they start off at 10 seconds, increase by two seconds, all the way up until round seven on halftime where everything gets reset. Absolutely. I see it on your screens now. You see the score. It's starting to ding. Optic do have the lead, but in comes the E United Cavalry. That's going to be Dispenser and Soto who will cap the A hill. Do they have enough time to reduce the deficit? To they do not. B time. is being That's neutralized, perfect. but someone from Optic has stuck through to C. This is, this is will late. the score be reduced quick enough? That's the question. Look at the score. 200, oh, it's 200. Oh, it's tied, game. The kills come through for E United, and they will take round number one away from Optic Gaming in beautiful fashion towards the end of that round. Uh, Lava made the, made the big play there because in United almost, well, after Gaming almost had the one heal cap and it would have been pretty much tied there all the way towards the 210 point, uh, but was not able to get it. But this is the thing, as we discussed before, the losing team is able to place a weapon on the map. So now Optic Gaming, we know that on Foundation, they love the Retro Lancers and they love the Nades mid map, but to give these guys they have the option here to kind of set the tone and set the pace of the map. Uh, question is, we, 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 they're looking at going towards the block on Statue. They probably don't want to put Retro Lancers out there just yet. Of course, you, you remove the option for United to, to use a block as well, potentially. But it's going to be a block over towards Pistons from Optic Gaming that comes through. Of course, Optic, a team that isn't going to panic after just one round. You're never going to see them kind of go, oh, what do we do? What do we put down? And let's throw a boom shot. Let's throw a drop shot. That's not how they roll. Of course, they will learn 
wisely. God plays we asked how impactful is he gonna be against the best teams on this United squad? Well, he already has six kills in the first round. And he has the new muscle. They already hit a player like God plays in demo, who was that pure slayer. But they got right. even a, a better slayer, so that's what makes them even more deadly. And with the leadership of Lava and the composure of Soto and Dispensa. United is definitely a threat now. They, 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 they definitely have grown into their shells. So I mean, we, we've seen United take, you know, a series off of the gaming online. They were the first team to do it. All right, well, first team to do it and not in a grand final, I should say. Envious, of course, they, they did it in Columbus, but United, they managed to do it in a winner's bracket final. They actually pushed up the gaming into oh, winner's bracket in London. The audacity to come in there, okay, on the two players of Octa Gaming in a 1v2 situation when he was hurt, I don't but he came out on top. Just a little bit of disrespect, why not, right? That's, that's understanding the game, and you have to, when you see players like that, he had perfect and precise movement to kind of get around those corners and get there with taking minimal damage to pick up that second kill. On board now with IC, former member of the United, as you mentioned earlier on. Let's not forget about that rivalry. You touched on it briefly, but IC and Lava, both playing against their former teams. And it's always a grudge match, I feel like. When you, whenever you play it against is. your old team, you're like, you, you're turned up just a little bit more. Especially when, it, when it, both the squads still have bad blood. Well, when Lava still has the bad blood here uh, with Opti Gaming. So, you know, you. You guys, you guys lost one event and you got the boot. You know, you gotta be unfortunate there. Yep, pretty, pretty true. Summons, of course, the Dark Horse, really, of Up to Gaming. Not a player we, we have to highlight too much, but he does a ton of work for the squad. Always uh, making intelligent plays. He was able to pick up a kill and rotate out of a sticky situation. Speaking of summons, here he is on your screens. Five kills already to his name and down. Two caps and a break as well. And you're always gonna see him just positioning himself very, very well. He's a, a very tough player to, to beat in a 1v1. So, Usually, when we see teams usually lose this initial setup here at B, they play for the home hills up top. They play for control of both home hills rather than having a home hill in a neutral hill during a two cap. They kind of switch up their route and uh, force the fight on a different area of the map. So, but after gaming was controlling his neutral hill, and you see mental, he goes off, he picks up the double, explosive cleans up kill as well. Now, E United on respawn here. They want to. They're thinking about pushing up the gaming's home hill. They just wait for the rest of their players to get to them. But I think that's going to be the next play that we see. Yep. And uptick, they're gonna be around that hill. Will they be able to cap it though? United scramble and scurry back. Optic have earned themselves a lead here. It's gonna be around 20 points, but if you do have that two to one hill advantage, as you mentioned but earlier, guys, pushing across. you're gonna have more points. The push comes through. God plays. We saw him go big on this exact map, on this exact spot. Can he do it again? That's the question. And down comes through. The sea hill being neutral. Is there any Beautiful kill over there by Demo. B, Demo saves the day, but again, B, that's where you need to see it. Demo's actually gonna leave the sea hill. Doesn't even cap it. He recognizes he has this to get the to B. Important. Has to help his teammates out. This oh. one. Mental. He's oh. up one. Mental cleans up two. Oh. Cleans up three. No, a no. Huge play. No. Mental gets two. Can you believe it? Mental, oh. the clutchest player in Gears of War Esports. I will fight you if you disagree. The kid from St. Louis coming out of here hot. Four straight kills. That was disgusting at this level of gameplay. Because when, when Demo came in there, it was initially a 1v2. I'm like, nah, this is, you, make sure you go wide. You can't allow him to kill you. He picks up the double. He takes on another 1v2. And at that point, you have to, at, at a level like this, you just cannot lose composure right there. <laughs> you just cannot lose composure after that because mental will put your team on ice. Look up losing full in the dictionary. There's a picture of mental smiling away just like that. Saying, yep, I'll just kill all four of you. And he doesn't even really smile, but he'll smile. Oh, he's smiling now, let me tell you. He's like, yeah, I got four. Yeah. 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 But, oh, this is what? Hashtag just mental thing. Yo, Did United, United it just, they put the retros down. Now, that's actually, that, that trips me out because... If any, for all you guys who come here and watch Fight Night during the weeks, and we see Foundation a lot, Optic Gaming loves the retro lands for the explosive hands to the point where it's almost like it's a nuisance. You don't even want to see that weapon on the map against Optic Gaming. But E United is like, nah, let's play this. We'll play this game with you. Let's go. All right, grab it and get a horn. This is this is a really interesting. 2K final that we, we have because we're so close to Atlantic City, of course, in a couple of weeks. The next major LAN event we're going to see in Gears of War Esports. Both these two teams get a, a little bit of information, uh, more information potentially about each other, and it's going to be crucial if this matchup was to happen, of course, at LAN. Now, for you guys out there who, who don't know exactly what the Retro Lancer is, the Retro Lancer, it's almost, it's almost like the starting weapon of the Lancer. It is a support weapon, but it does a lot more damage, okay? Think A-R-A-K. It has a lot more kick to it 
a lot more recoil, but it does a lot of damage to the opposing team. Soto springing into life. He's going to find two members of Optic Gaming, and immediately now has license to push the A hill. B and C already kept E United looking to end this round early. However, Optic have snuck through behind enemy lines. There's going to be two players over there at the C hill. So will Soto opt to stay at A or will he backtrack? Mental, he's able to find Dispenser. He's down. Teammate should be able to pick him up as well. So he's definitely going to stay alive. The A hill should go back to Optic Gaming, but Mental stuck. Between a rock and a hard place, he will be shut down. And Soto tracks back. He's going to clean up the C hill. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, the B hill has actually been lost as well. He's obviously going to be able to cap that one. It's going to be Kenny down there. And Kenny should be good to cap the B hill. So yeah. just settles and, and the second set comes of, down. Yeah, in the second set of retro lancers have already respawned. And so Optic Game is going to have two under control, one in the hands of Kenny and one in the hands of explosives. But the big fight going down here on the home hill. You have Kenny picking up oh, a double. Kenny. He wants a triple of his own here. But Soto, hey, oh, he has something to say about that one. He's going to shut that down, lock down his A hill for his team. Now, this is Optic Gaming's home hill. He needs his teammates to come big on top of their home hill. Man, he's been a nuisance. He, he really has. But the problem is, if he leaves that and Optic Gaming will take it, that's going to be a trip cap. So Soto has to play this very well. He needs his teammates to jump on the C hill, and they will do just that. So you can clearly see that that communication coming out from E United, the timing. But unfortunately for E United, Soto has gone down. This is a 4v5 of mental. He may smell blood here. He might want to just try and end this. And you guys see explosive. You hear you hear the, 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 the kick of that retro lance. You saw how fast he was able to down that guy. And he's on top of E United's home hill being a nuisance. He's preventing them from being able to kind of break through and push forward to the next progression of that neutral hill. Because E United, they have to get their home hill back in that situation. If they can't, then they're just at a disadvantage here. Optic takes round number three. Yeah, nicely played. They they had control really for for the most part of that round. It was pretty much all them. Yeah, to be, it was. To be honest, the entire time. Fantastic rotations. I mean, you saw United just kind of hey, hanging on a little bit. This Soto is round three. He has play, eleven but... downs and twelve kills. Like that's just how deadly they are with it. Now it was it was a back and forth round for a little bit there, but Optic Gaming definitely was in control. So now e United with the weapon placement, they have two options. They have the statue placement, and they have a placement also dead center of what weapon they would like to place down to help them possibly win round number four. And they're looking to go towards the nades route here. Now we don't have any of the bigger power weapons of M-Bar, Drop Shot, Boom Shot, uh, Torque Bow on the map, but use, they're going to put down uh, grenades there. Yep, there's going to be those incidents up top, and as you pointed out, explosive. Uh, well, he's playing pretty well this evening, that's for sure. 12 kills, 11 downs, 46 seconds dead. That's the least on his team as well. So, Explosive really uh, making a point. He so really fun. is. He, he, he definitely is. Uh, definitely got the support fire there for his team, and it's helping him in all these situations here. But now, you're going to see the opening break here. The United will get control of their home hill. Optic Gaming opted not to cap theirs right away. They want to play more for the, for the kills and the incense and the neutral hill there. They want to go back. Both incense will be used here. God plays did manage to get him. Hillman Red Ice will go down. Kenny's running for the kill. Does God plays have any help? No, he does not. Soto was in that position. He's going to drop a smoke to kind of slow down the pursuit there of the opposing team. And uh, he's actually going to try to stay in a fight and try to come away with one kill here. In round number four, it is 16 second respawn. Summons is going to. Oh, he did get his kill. Too. Soto is a, a trade there. Both players die. A, B, cap by Optic Gaming. And someone's going to scurry back, cap C. This is not looking good for E United. They need to jump on that B hill. They don't really have too much time to jump on it. You see that A, B still looking for Optic Gaming, but the scurry over at B still coming in. It's now going to be Icy against the former team. <laughs> he just blitz straight through. And the trip cap coming through now. It could be good. The hill's going to be broken, though, by someone from United. Mental's over there. It's Soto once again clutching up for United. Soto's being, being a force for his squad right here. And uh, being that defense on their home hill, and he's locking it down very, very well, giving his team uh, at least time to react and get multiple attempts at trying to decap that B hill. New retro lancers will be on respawn here, so both teams will be able to, to acquire theirs. And Optic Gaming, they still have a nice rock solid setup on B, and with those retro lancers in place, it's going to be difficult. So they need to think about the incense on respawn and just try to play for both home hills here. And that's what we're going to see on this setup. Got place on your screen. He's just going to mull around over towards that side of the map. Meanwhile, Soto, the player who really has been the, the playmaker for the United squad so far in the first couple of rounds, has been rotating very, very efficiently. But up to gaming, have themselves a lead now, guy. 
Keep a look at that top left of your screen. Of course, that's going to be the score in the round. 116 to 82. Also of shows course. you which healers are in control Ex for each team exactly as well. Exactly that. So it's two up to gaming and one to United. And yeah, that B hill is the neutral hill, dead center of the map right there. And I think looking good. They also have uh, you have Lava, the Nade Master himself here with these incense, and he's looking to he needs to make a play for his team with these. He needs, needs to go for Chini in the corner. Not gonna get it, but he does have one more incense, I believe. Not gonna nope. use it just yet. No, he doesn't. He's gonna go He's down, but he needs to stay on that hill if he's gonna go down. I think he may be good to get revived. You can yeah, see the will. amount of control United have over this E area. Oh, but someone's clean. through the middle. Is it mental? I believe it is. Demo's down, and if they're not careful, mental could catch all of up to gaming. Or sorry, all of United with their pants down, but Dispenser turns around. Recognize the flank was he inbound. Won, he won. If he didn't win that fight, but look at but look at the score though. Up to gaming already with a huge lead. They can win this just off a one cap. Now E United, they their hand is forced. They have to go for a trip cap. Yeah, they got to decap this. Only Icy is in play in position to kind of stop this, and he's gonna get the kill there on Lava. Lava was a little bit desperate there. Big fight here. Demo and got. I think this is God play. He's trying to make a play for this home hill. Not able to get it. I think gaming can win this off of one hill. You see Soto pushing top tables here, looking to get into this hill, but he has to fight a one v two. So he's not able to win. One more Dillo's player. not able to break it. <laughs> oh. That's going to be another after gaming round. And, and that's the issue. When a couple of your players die and you're going for that final push, if you go in kind of one after another, after another, after another, it, it's not going to work. It isn't. You need you, that yeah, team you, push. You have as to soon try as to that wait first... for the last possible moment right. that you can. Especially a five man position. push is much better than going in one after another because uh, against a team like Optic Gaming, they're just going to easily pick up those kills. And that's exactly what we saw. Now Optic 3 1 advantage. They played this uh, pretty much to perfection thus now, far. We started this game on 10 second respawns. They've been increasing two seconds at the end of every single round. So now we find ourselves on 18 second respawns. So every player's life is going to matter that much more. And in this weapon position right here, I only see a good set of nades coming out. Uh, usually teams that are, don't put the big power weapons here because it's so open in the map. Yep. And it gets real chaotic down here. And players can sneak away with those big power weapons in those uh, chaotic fights. And that's love is bread and butter. Right, we've, we've seen him throughout all of this circuit so far. He, he loves playing for those names. He, sometimes he picks stuff up and you're like, how did he even do He has the audacity to go for things sometimes where he just he shouldn't, but he gets yeah. away with it. Of course, up the gaming, they're going to know every single little hidden trick about Lava, though, after teaming him with him for most of the season. Now, though, I mean, that, you see at the bottom of your screen, Lava is already able to pick him up. Yeah, and he's going to have those nades in his hand, so actually he can detonate them and pick up a kill if he wants. He's like, please rush me. Please let me trade. And there goes the first nade out. Mental and Summons able to pick uh, up one, but that's a teammates bad are, are, are going to die. That's a nade he's... on God plays. He throws out the second nade. Now he's in a 1v1. Lava Big does kill. manage to pick up the kill on Summons and immediately looks as if he was going to try and push up towards that eight. And he has his replacement in front of him, Red Icy. And Red Icy is still getting that home hill. Lava's looking to win this 1v1. Great. Red Icy. He puts a little incense on the ground for that incense. AOE. And he's beautiful, gonna pick up the double. beautiful incense from Icy. He just, he zoned with the first one. He forced Lava to go through a small, small channel. And as soon as he recognized that push was coming through, he threw the second incense. That was beautiful play from him, recognizing exactly how to play that situation. And uh, now up to gaming, find themselves 4 1 up here in map number one. Yes, they in mind, do. This is E United's map pick. And E United, they have the option. I think you go here in the Pistons, right? You want to draw the fight here. You have to win this fight here towards the B Hill. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Optic Gaming, they've been controlling this B Hill the entire time. But you need something else to play for. That's and drop shot. shot's going to get placed That's down on the map. That's a drop shot. Uh, United, they need to win this fight. This is going to be a key one right here. And you, you can see why United have done it, right? We're at round number six now. 20 second yeah. respawns. This is the last round of the first half. Of course, all weapons will be reset heading into that second half, as well as that respawn timer. As you mentioned earlier on, guy, goes back down to 10 seconds. So if there was a round to do it, it would be this one. Yeah, 20 second respawn timers. You'll be lucky at this level of gameplay to get a second life here. So it's going to come down to summons. Breaking nice. He's going to do good. He takes out a second. He wants the third, and he gets the third as well. Four members down of E United, and there's the fifth. Optic Gaming looking to come out with a trip cap, and it's nothing that you can really do. They're going to scurry away to go cap up all these hills. You're going to see them break off. The next player of E United spawns in two seconds. Too late. But two seconds too much, sadly. Yeah, he, he's not going to be able to make it. <laughs> Mental's such a troll. I absolutely love it. He's like, can I get away with it? Can I do it yet? Can I do it yet? I'm going to throw it anyway. Yeah, just who, and, who cares, and, right? And, and to the point, obviously, we saw Mental pick up a crazy four piece earlier on. That was the Summons I call gets it three. The, the, the demoralizer. Kenny, he's picking up double kills. And this is the thing with up to gaming. 
every single one of their players is capable of moments just like that. And now, that's what makes them such a scary team to play against. Now, folks, if you feel like, man, you know what? I could beat these guys. I think who? She <laughs> united who? Well, if you're trying to get on a fight night, you got to go and you got to play in the 2Ks on game battles. That's how you get here, all right? Go out there, make a name for yourself, play those amateur 2Ks, uh, the amateur 250s and the big 2Ks every Sunday, and you get that chance to be here on Fight Night. Also, if you guys aren't watching, watch on live.gears.com for the, the full place. Gears experience. The place to watch Gears of War Esports, a phenomenal platform. Now, though, looking at Explosive's perspective here, they're 5-1 up at the half. I mean... It looked as if we were going to have a close one, I'm not going to lie, yeah. and all of a sudden, nothing just kind of uh, shifted and into so the And so, what happened is that Mental broke ice there, and the rest of the United said, you know what, let's just, let's get out of here, let's rotate across the other side of the map and try to push, though. But since the Spence had picked up a kill, the United said, you know what, we can actually fight this for the heal, but Icy, he picks up a double, he picks up a triple, and he has something to say about any type of confidence e United had got from that kill from the spin. How, how do you stop that happening? How do you stop these multi-kills, these chain it, it, you know, of kills it, happening? Because I'm thinking so consistently. You have to be careful with the distance. You, you know, sometimes you don't always have to close the distance to go for that one-shot chunk on the opposing player. Work together as a unit, just put that damage out and try to down that player. Summons, he's found himself too. He's looking for three. He's full red, but a teammate comes flying into his assistance. He will go down because a player of e United coming off spawn that puts some shots down, but you can see Optic, they are definitely on another kind of pace right now, as opposed to United. They're in United's base, really forcing that fight. Now United, you can just see those red arrows on your minimap. Of course, that is the players of United flooding over towards Optic Gaming's home hill. Mental's there, he's able to at least take one down with him. I believe that was uh, traded by God Plays. And United now should be good to hold this home setup. And luckily for them, two to one hill advantage would give them enough time really to reduce that deficit early on. Now, being back at these 10 second respawn rounds, it's, it's a lot more chaotic than so, we saw so. in the previous round. Soto gets a beautiful double that his team needed to. That was a one to two. Yeah, yeah, to actually hold that home hill. E United are controlling both home hills. This is what we call the home hill setup right here. They're not going for that two cap on a, on a neutral hill, they're spread out. Now, this, this can work, but you have to have a good defense on your opposing team's home hill, and the majority of United players are over there trying to fight off Optic Gaming. And this is going to be the attack from Optic Gaming. Summons, he's able to shut down Lava. Uh, I believe God Plays is going to have to back away with his tail between his legs. Doesn't want to die. Recognize playing his life here is a smarter decision. As I say that, though, gets caught out and will be downed and killed by Icy. And uh, at this point, Optic, they have license to maybe even push for a trip cap because the e hill was capped as well. Why not just try and close this round out right here, right now? The F hill being neutralized. Someone from E United has rotated over towards E though. You see that on the top left of your screen, of course. That E hill being capped, but it's actually going to be a player down over on that side of the map. Kenny's going to clean up Dispenser, and Kenny, with the support of a teammate here, can just neutralize E to stop E United getting points momentarily. But E United, they need a trip cap, and they need it now. It's going to start with this gunfight from Demo. He needs to win a 1v2. It's not going to happen. Optic Gaming will be heading to map point. United, they had won that first round, but I think gaming has came out of here with six straight solid rounds uh, to start this game. Well, United did a, a 6-2 comeback against Envy to find themselves in the did final. They, did they come back with a 6-1? They just keep and topping you, themselves. United, they did the 6-3 comeback on Optic Gaming in, at the London Winners Bracket Finals, which was then amazing that we saw. Then they just did the 6-2 comeback on Envious to make it here. To put the themselves in position, champs. yeah, the reigning champs to get to this uh, 2K final. Now, do they do the 6-1 I, comeback? I, I, of all people, would love to, to jump on the tinfoil hat conspiracy and be like, yeah, they will. And they They're also they have to put the drop shot down again. At they hit, they hit at the end of the last half, so they want some more time here to work with it to start this round. Ballsy. So, so I'll yeah. give you that. Hey, that drop shot is going to be a good, powerful weapon here to break a lot of these hills. Hey. But E United, I think they're just going to go play for the home hill setup. They're not going to worry too much about that staple neutral fight across the map at that E hill. Oh, absolutely. They're going to play for the two closer heels here. Yeah, you, you play, you play around the that drop weapon. shot. You, you play for that DF hill because as well, think of it this way: if you do control DNF, you're basically controlling the drop shot at all times. Could, could, correct. You know, you you control that open area of the map, control the drop shot. You put your team in a good position. And United. Can you do it? That is the question. Early on, Mental has already found himself two kills. Dispenser, he's over there. Mental actually finds himself three. Mental looking for four. Mental finds four. Can Mental find the fifth as well? Mental just wiped out E United. Damn. And he made that look easy. Mental Damn. is going off tonight here on Gears Fight Night. You know what? Sometimes you just cannot stop it. 
And these are one of the nights where you just cannot stop. You, you're just gonna sit there and be like, all right, well, oh. just <laughs> mental. <laughs> Man, oh. mental, You know what? Mental. Oh, up a, he's he's watch. He's gonna he's gonna take this one. His teammate has him help with the drop shot. But they do manage to kind of hold this one off. E United, they're fighting right here to stay alive. Optic not able to shut it out just yet. Lava trying to keep his team in it. He's going to get shut down there. And the rest of Optic Gaming are on his home hill. Not much that you can do. They know there's not much they can do at all. And that's it. Optic Gaming puts up the green wall. And E United's not making it through that one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mental the Show. Fan process, which. I think maybe just be a tactical decision from them, trying to learn a little bit more about some teams to heading into Atlantic City. Uh, we're going to be heading over to Reclaimed. Reclaimed, as well. Reclaimed is one of their better maps here as well. Uh, they love Reclaim. You know, as we see before, Foundation and Reclaimed are almost our two staple maps. That we're going to always have one of these maps in our in our three maps uh, cycle in our best of threes here, uh, if not both of these maps. I mean. Reclaimed for reference is at 85 win percentage for Optic Gaming on LAN. They've played it seven times, they've won it six times. So only one loss on this map at LAN, and I'm pretty sure that was against United in London when they got 6 3 comeback. Yeah, Mento, he's going to make it in here. Barely, he gets in that corner where he cannot really get hit with a shot from, but he needs his teammates to make sure that they back him up. He's going to be able to trade some shots in here and support his squad here. But Dispenser has something to say. He gets dropped by Icy. Icy, can he get the 1v2? Okay, yes, he does get the 1v2. And I think it's a third guy. Nope, that's going to be his teammate. So I'm gaining <laughs> full control over the V Hill. And now in this position, when E United loses that many members up top, they have to push across on Optic Gaming's home hill. And those home hill players need to have a 1v1 fight. You know, he needs to kind of force that fight with that guy to kind of get his team a two cap so they're not going to be in a difficult position. But with it being 10 second respawn rounds early on, we're going to see a lot more action. We won't see too many quick dominations. And, and that's the thing with Optic Gaming. In these earlier respawn rounds, or the quicker respawn rounds, the, the 10 seconds, the 12, even the 14 seconds, you won't see Optic Gaming get overzealous. They'll never push the opposition home hill kind of one by one. They wait till they get maybe three, four kills in quick succession. Like, if you can get four down in two seconds, yeah. that's when they have license to push. That's when they know they have a good and, eight and, seconds. And that really is the time frame. You have to get those kills consecutively yeah. very quick. But if it's about five seconds, then at that point, you set up for a two cap and slay the opposing team one more time, then you push in. It's uh, a, a tough thing to master, but we've seen a couple of teams in Gears of War Esports do it. It down, you get the feeling for it. Oh, God plays pushing up, getting up close and personal to Icy. Icy having none of it. He cleans up one, Mental's there to trade out Demo. And we talked about quick succession. That was three down, and Kenny may have just jumped the gun a little bit. Does he have teammate support? <laughs> Explosive. He's able to trade the Spencer. There's the Spencer that caught oh, him. They still got one down in there too, and Explosive gets that kill. Well, that's license to go for a trip cap in round number one. And that will be a trip cap in round number one for the Green Wall up to gaming. Of course, they're going to be our red squad. United, a blue squad. Respawns going up every two or every round by two seconds. So round two, it's going to be 12. And that's Only gonna... two players from United got kills, by the way. And that's going to be eight straight rounds. You know what, Benson? We've seen a lot of. Optic gaming in, in E United matches over last week. You almost got to say that's the that's the next big rivalry right there when it comes down to matchups. It's looking like it, but don't count Envious out just yet. Of course, just because they're not in your 2K final, we got to give them props. They won the last event. If they play how they did at the last event, they are going to be a tough, tough team to beat. I still oh, think, I definitely agree. I still think they would win. If, if, yeah. if, if, if the tournament was tomorrow and they played how they did, they 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 win 100%. in Mexico. They they win the event. I. I I'm excited for you. Optic Gaming has something to prove now, not not to oh, yes. But that's that's a scary thing almost. Because <laughs> oh, you, you, you kind of you kind of pissed them off a little bit, right? Beforehand, you, you, you kind of made them mad. You gave these boys purpose. <laughs> gave them a reason to just destroy. And well, it's a scary thing well, if you do. Well, I was summons, about to... summons gets two. Kenny gets one. And Lava was able to secure uh, the kills that e United got. And they was able to win that B Hill, you know, by Lava winning that one one ever summoned. So the United is still good, but somebody's pushing. That's explosive. He wants hands with Lava. And he's gonna push up here. He's taking a lot of damage. And Soto makes it up there to support his teammate. But this is still gonna be a 2v2 fight here. Lop explosives back in action here. Gonna push 2v2 situation. Soto, he gets one. He's gonna back up. Smart move. The rest of his teammates join him. Lava's in a difficult position. Soto saves his life once again. And now God plays shuts down Icy and E United still locked down this neutral hill at B. Yep. And this, with three players down, they should put themselves in a position here for the trip cap. And that's exactly what they're gonna do. You see three players from E United scurrying down towards that home hill of up to game. Kenny, he's already actually 
pushed out, he will go down. So that's going to be one player you don't need to worry about. He's going to be cleaned up. And a beautiful, beautiful response from E United showing, hey, if you make a mistake, we will capitalize. You're not going to catch us sleeping either. You know, you, you really can't. Uh, one thing with E United is that they need to be able to shake off losses, play on a map-by-map -map basis, you know? Even though they had lost eight straight rounds, they need to don't worry about the map. Don't worry about foundation. This is going to be reclaimed yeah, here. Right. Focus up. You know, we new opportunity. We know the mistakes that we made. Let's focus up here. Have to approach it. And as you mentioned, a round by round. Of course, weapon placement now. Frag grenades going to be dropped by Optic Gaming. And so that's 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 going to be good for Optic Gaming here. Uh, going to have a good power weapon. Not putting in something too big down right away. But as you see here, E United they put the incidents down, hoping to to kind of win them that round. And it did win them that round. But Optic Gaming is going to put nades down here at the top of the map. So we got two sets of nades up top. This is going to be interesting when we get towards the weapon placements on the bottom half of the map. Definitely will be. For now, though, we're going to see Summons launch his first instant out. God Place has already found a pick. That was actually Mental he was able to shut down. And that's a big, big win. You take Mental out of that fight up top of B, it really does give you maybe a little bit more license to push. But you've got to take advantage of it while he's down and out. Now, of course, he's going to be coming off spawn. And this fight still prolonged, so Mental may have to be able to rejoin that fight. Finally, United jump on the B hill. Nate's being thrown out once again. Uh, that's going to be a kill coming in from Lava. So deadly with those nades. Yes, he is. And he gets one right there. And United gets control over the B Hill. You see the support coming over the top here from Lava. Good teamwork by these guys. You're going to have only one member, two members down actually, of uh, only one member down of Optic Gaming here. E United only having three up. They just need to make sure they lock down this hill. I think he may even have one nade left here. He needs to use that to help uh, stop this, uh, this push here by Optic. Oh, he's going to just roll out for now. Of course, United do have the lead here, 73 to 60. As the B Hill does get neutralized. This match was there. Can he pick up a teammate in time? No, he can't. Mental and summons just roll through. That's both players dead. And this is exactly, again, where you expect to see up to gaming. Force down towards that C Hill, force a trip cap. But Demo, he snuck through enemy lines. He's going to be at A. Just being a nuisance, a distraction, if nothing else. He's going to draw back Kenny to fight a 1v1. But Demo, smart enough to realize, hey, players are going to be coming off spawn. But those shots from Opti Gaming, just too good. So the A Hill will be secured. How is Opti doing over at C? That's the question. We'll go over to that C Hill, and you can see Dispenser from United doing a good job of just defending it. I was just about to say, Summons just got a set of incense here, and he just picked up two Whittle. So he's going to be good. And also, you have Frag Grenades spawning up in 15 seconds. So if they can get control of that B Hill, that's going to be good. But Opti Gaming has their sights on something bigger. That's going to be the domination. They're not even worried about what's happening at B. They know exactly where everybody is at B United. Yep. They managed to get three players down. They know two players are off spawn. Summons with a team kill on Kenny. It doesn't matter. Explosive is that. the pieces. More players pushing in now. Summons, he finds another pick. That's going to be dispensed around. And up to gaming with a trip cap. Took him two minutes, 16 seconds. They have a two to one advantage now. United back over for weapon placement. We still have a block uh, able to be used here. So they need to see do they want to use the block dead center of the map or down low. Also, you have the dual spawns to work with as well. Uh, I think you put the block. You put the block dead center. Maybe they put the block on dead center. Well, they actually, they're probably going to use it on dual spawns, but this is going to be crazy here. They use their block here on dual spawns. You're going to have to have two big weapons in the center of the map, meaning that you're going to have to have in bar drop. Sh you have a choice of in bar drop shot, long shot, or boom shot, or torque bow, which are all big weapons that's about to be placed along the center of the map because all the nades are being used on placements and the block is being used on placements. You can't put support weapons there. So this whole map is about to take a turn for the change, and these fights are about to be focused down low in a second. And, and is that United doing that intentionally? I don't know if they actually did do it intentionally, to be honest with you. I think they're about to find out what's about to happen in these next two rounds. <laughs> we will wait and see. God plays instant in hand. He was able to start off last round very well with an instant pick. He throws out the second one unsuccessfully. Up to gaming, I believe. They still have one in their back pocket. We'll see if that gets thrown out anytime soon. And there it is. Summons actually finds the pick on Dispenser with it. God place. He's able to shut down Summons. And the United do get control of B. But they've done this every round. They've got the initial control. But they've just failed to keep control of it. Lava there to trade. Now he has a 1v1. Waiting for teammates to potentially come and help him out. Is he actually going to push Mental? He is. He's full red. Surely he goes down. For somehow stays alive. And Mental actually drops. Yeah, he goes down right there. Both nades were uh, used. But I didn't see any kills getting picked up there. I think they're controlling B, but it's not full control yet. They need to be able to clean up both these kills. Soto staying alive. 
And Soto is trying to rotate oh, out of here, that's but that's going to well. be four down. That has not gone well at all. And again, this is now we're up to gaming, have license to push. Problem uh, is, if it's going to be Goplace. If anybody else wants to defend my home, exactly. hill is him. It's going to be Goplace. Goplace starts up, he takes a brick, and he suddenly goes down. And Optic having none of it. Another trip cap domination potential could come through. Is Lava going to get that quick enough? The is in formation, folks. <sighs> they just... They just made that look simple. And again, it's that quick succession of kills that they get. They're so good at making sure their kills are timed so fast that they can really put pressure on the map and get those trip caps. And now it's even scarier because we're going to a higher respawn. Yeah. This is in terms of weapon placement where now, what, what do we see? What what is placed? It is secondary weapons, but they're only available in a dual spawns here. So and usually you see nades in these positions, but the nades got all placed up top. So they're gonna take the lesser of, of the, the other of, of the five evils. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna put long shot down low. But when you have somebody as deadly, as mental, and icy with that sniper rifle, is it really the lesser of the five? Uh, but to them it is, they definitely deadly in the right hands. We'll see how this affects the opening break, if it affects it at all. Uh, it looks like one player from Optic Gaming is just pushed past that home hill immediately, doesn't want to cap it just yet. We'll see if anyone does play for that sniper rifle, but in all honesty, I don't think it really holds enough weight to, to change your setup too drastically. Obviously, your boom shots, your drop shots, it will. Demo's actually going to grab that sniper rifle, and we've seen him hit some pretty impressive shots with it. Is it going to start here? And, of course, the question looks for a line of sight over towards B. I think he may have actually just downed an Optic Gaming player. He did. That was actually summoned to summon's will die. Godplays cleans up that kill from distance with his incense. Meanwhile, can E United now try and secure this round? Now, they definitely have a good opportunity here. Uh, you got three players down of Optic. Good shot. They're going to connect with the body shot on Explosives, but couldn't land the rest of the support fire to get him down. And now they're putting a the pressure here. Explosives is trying to stay alive, waiting for a squad. But he goes down. <laughs> and uh, you see across map, that was him being annoying right there, going for E United's home heels. But they're going to cap it up here. Demo, not known to be much of a sniper, but, you know, we'll he, see. He has been using it recently. And... You know, I spoke to him briefly. He was like, yeah, I, I love the sniper rifle. I think um, he got robbed on that. That should have been a headshot. I, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But you look at the United in the setup. Nades came out. They finally used those nades. Those nades were pocketed. They're doing good. But now, even though Optic Gaming has their backs against the wall, less than 10 seconds, you're going to have the, the, the next set of incidents being spawned up here. But if God plays is in a position to just stop everything here, if he can pick up these doubles and they actually take Optic Gaming's incense, this is going to be actually good for him. That's the round. Explosive. <laughs> Sniper's up in two seconds Explosive as well. Explosive has to be sneaky. He has to force a 1v1 with Lava here and stop the cap at C. That's all he has to do. But, you, I mean, you got to go quickly. You can't waste too much time. But Lava knew he was there. He's going to be full red before he even gets a chance. And United will win that round. Beautiful, beautiful play from them. And it just shows you when you're effective with your power weapons, when you're just more efficient. The beauty was. It's easier rounds. That E United made sure that they at least saved one grenade out of that chaos to start the game. Yep. And that one grenade brought them enough time and they stopped Optic Gaming's second push. Now, Optic, not sure if they knew when the respawns were going to be respawned, but they were 15 seconds away from having that extra oomph and that extra support to take control of that neutral hill. But you see the, the choices, and they're like, all right, what do we I do? Feel, I feel like... Uh, who <laughs> He's it? like, it's what explosive. do we do? I feel like Explosive is just going to hold down left on, on the on the D-pad. He's like, I'm just going to keep going until and time stops. So we'll see. To the, to I want to see what we get. We'll because just see what honestly, we get. it really doesn't matter at this point. You're on 20-second respawn rounds. It's going to come down to the initial fights with the base weapons, with the shotgun and the lancers before it gets here. Now, somebody could sneak that boom shot out, but we're going to see uh, from the overhead map if that actually goes down. 20 second respawns, and you're trying to sneak the boom mid map. It's tough, but as you said, it could be uh, something we see potentially. Meanwhile, up to gaming, I believe they sent four mid maps as opposed to just a three for me, United. So, United at the disadvantage, but this time you're going to see the instance used over towards drop shot. Got placed with one in his pocket. He's just trying to find as much information as possible. There's one player from up to gaming up top at B. Meanwhile, two players, actually three players pushing down low, waiting patiently for a chance to strike. Sniper's going to be picked up, and Mental's oh. going to say, how do you do? Demo, that's the easiest that kill. That, in front of my face again. that is the easiest kill he's ever going to get. It really was, yeah. Uh, but nades are going to get picked up, so now oh, the rest of these lot. kills are coming out. Boom shot finally being picked up as well. Now the boom shot, it, it, it's, it's the rocket, so to speak, forward, right? Man. Two guaranteed kills. You got four people down. Boom shot is going to be placed behind him. He's going to kill his teammate, <laughs> but he says it doesn't even matter. He's, I'm sorry, bro. Don't even worry about it. He and I don't have to push through the boom. It's not going to happen. Up to gaming. Go into the half. 4-2 advantage. Of course, now, though, heading into the second half, 
every weapon will be removed off the map. We go back down to 10 second respawns and our hills will also flip sides. You can see now our mid neutral hill down at workshop and our two home hills at the top of the map. Yes, it is here. And uh, that's, and, you know, depending on the map, the halftime is so key because it, it, it can change everything. It, it, it really does based off the geography of the map and because based off in elevation as well, sometimes it's just smarter to play for both home hills. And I, we're going to see that here that when it comes down off the game, if they can't win the fight at E for whatever reason, they're completely fine with just holding both the home hills like we saw on Foundation, the map before. Right. They say, you know what, to get to neutral hill, this is halftime, it's more feasible to go for the home hills. Now on board with Explosive from the green wall. Up to gaming, God plays, finds two, God plays, now looking to try and make a play of his own. Can he find the third? Not gonna happen, Mental puts a stop to that. And Soto there. I see. In map number one, Soto was extremely clutch. I mean, yes, okay, you, you got beat pretty bad, but he still had a very, very good map. I think it's important to emphasize. Icy still alive here. He's hitting all his shots. That's how he stayed alive. And he stayed alive till his teammates got to him, and they're gonna actually come down here, win a fight, and regain control over E. E United wasn't able to kill him quick enough, and he brought himself just enough time for the cavalry to arrive. And that's just a, a beautiful example of just waiting. Be impatient. Be impatient with your shots. shots. He did it for it. He knew he knew the position that he was in, and he says, "You know what? I'm about to. I got to play this defensive and just wait for the squad." E United was too scared to take him. They definitely were. Now looking at the demo's perspective for e United, the early score is going to be in favor of up to gaming, but only by a few seconds. And that's a few points. Demo though will shut down Kenny. All right. e United, honestly, they should be able to retake control of E. Yeah, and that was a good kill there by Demo. He's looking to try to get a second one. Him and his teammate, a little beta switch action there. But here comes the second member of Opti. And they're going to come through. Mental breaks Ice. Ice, he gets a kill as well. That's going to be two members down. And United, the third down as well. Explosive joins the battle, but Soto looking to pick up kills down low on E and get this neutral hill in his favor, but he knows that he has to fight rather than cap this hill. And it's crazy just how quickly up the gaming are able to retake control of that mid-neutral hill. Soto, though, played that beautifully. He cleans up explosive. He picks up his teammate as well. But again, it's not over yet. Up the gaming still over towards the E hill. Soto finally goes down. He's now looking to be repaid by his teammate. Oh. But Kenny, he just flies straight through, cleans up too. And now looking to just once again retake control of the E Hill and build Optic Gaming a lead in terms of points. Now Optic, they know that hey, this is halftime, it's 10 second respawns, a little bit more chaotic, dominations aren't as feasible as, as they are in the later rounds. So now they're just holding the two cap, making sure they put the damage for, uh, out. It's a close game here. They don't have to play for domination just yet. They know E United is trying to put the pressure here on the home hills, but Mental was hiding there in the cut. He takes out one. He's looking for a second one, but he has help. He doesn't have to do it all on his own. And he's going to push in here. And you, you see God plays. He stays alive. Actually, E United wins this fight. They do, but they still need to worry a little bit about that E Hill. 186 to 168. I think up to gaming are good with just one hill. And you're going to see United react a little bit to that as they start putting resources down towards that E hill. They just need to decap it once. I see it's going to be there. There's two of them. Dispenser They need to something. flood this hill. They are absolutely Lava can't run away from that. Bear in mind the D hill is neutral though. And I believe up to gaming are going to retake control of it. It's a 206 to 197 point game. Up to need to cap the hill quicker. I Oh, this is going to be so close. That's it. They got it. 207, 205, 208, 206. Even though Lava got a cool double, but they got it. A one point victory. I wouldn't, uh, if I was them, I wouldn't have cap B. I wouldn't have capped that neutral hill. Once they would have, once they decapped the neutral hill, they should have all ran for that home hill because the points, you didn't were, need, yeah, you the didn't, points the were, were so close, it didn't matter yeah. if you capped it. You had to make sure that they wasn't capped up. Heads so up. they needed more resources there. It's up observation. Now we united, of course, weapon placement in round number two of our second half. Yo, um, you remember when I said United was going to win 2-1 at the beginning? Yeah, and yeah I, you so remember what, when what I said Optic so, was going to so, win 2-0? So what I meant by that was... Oh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> was, uh, yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like opposite. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, opposite. Yeah, it's just because sure, sure. you got your new fancy glasses, you're out here feeling intelligent. <laughs> All right. You know, Benson, I was already smart before, <laughs> you know. But now, I, I don't I'm disagree. just psychic. <laughs> it's looking good. Very, very good for Optic Gaming to close out the North American 2K in style. But you see, once again, E United, uh, we thought they would have stayed away from the Retro Lancers, but they also, they're engaging in them. They're embracing the Retro Lancers. I mean, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I do. But there comes a time, I think, where it's almost where you want to say, all right, let's just kind of 
not necessarily play to our strengths, but make sure we aren't playing to the opposition strengths. And when a team is that much better, well, I feel like it's kind of chaotic when you Well, Vincent, like in the amount of time it took you to make your statement, not the game got four straight kills that quickly. Uh, down on the hill, now they're playing for this domination. It's a go oh. match point. Oh. And they're going to get two more kills. About that. <laughs> I feel like my point was still valid. It, it, was, it, it, was, it, valid. it may have taken a, a, a little long. That was just how quick the, that, that opening fight was. Wow. Optic 6 2. Match point. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you do want a chance of being featured in any of our future 2Ks, sign up at gamebattles.com to any of the 2Ks that occur. And of course, if you're more of a fan of watching and you don't really you know, want to be a professional player, I don't know why, why you would. It's personally better to watch. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Live.curiousofwar.com. There you course, go. The place to watch. You you were a former pro once. Definitely, definitely engaged in there. Yes, I was. Man. I, I think you still have the ability. I watched you play. There you go. You know, don't get me wrong. I, I still got to get some some DW40 on my thumbs or something. They still, they don't move like they used to. But some my cobwebs. Mind, my mind is working a little better, though. You know, you just got to compensate where you lack in some some areas. That's all. That's true. Very true. Kenny, you know? on your screens now from the gaming. Can they close it out here? It'd be a very impressive North American 2K result. It'd be, what, 7-1 map 1 and a 7-2 map 2 if they're able to do it. As they once again try and make the point to the Gears of War esports community saying, hey, we may have lost in Mexico, but we're the number one team heading into Atlantic City. However, E United, they did make a 6-2 comeback against Envious. Now they're facing the exact same position, but this time it's up to game. But E United, knowing that they've done it before, they maybe feel like they can do it again here. It has to give you confidence on some level. It does. And the kill's coming through. This could be a good start for United. The start they needed. God plays pushes out, and United will win the round. 6-3. You have to take it round by round. That is the only way you can approach this. We did. Uh, if they were Imagine. To, if they were to, if do, they were to do this again. On Opt again, Envy. I might cry on stream. <laughs> He's not lying, folks, either. No. <laughs> he may shed a tear. If we get to watch it, you know, firsthand, all of us, the comeback, E United, they push forward. It would have just been another or another E United reverse sweep against Optic. What? I mean, hey, what? They did 6 3 in London on this map. Bear that in mind. The only map Optic Gaming has lost on LAN was to United. Was that the leadership of Demo here? Dispenser was. This team is kind of kind of different than it was I, before. I dude, I remember the last round. Dispenser made the the shot call with the with the incense and. Oh man. Dude, that was that was. It was almost beautiful. It was just a beautiful round to yeah. watch. That's one of the one round. Best, best match I could, ever cast in my life. I, I could honestly have to watch that round time and time again. But enough of our flashbacks, <laughs> our history <laughs> lessons. As it's sad, the United, they have a tall mountain to climb. Yeah, but they do get in here to be here. Optic Gaming, they're set up perfectly. They did bring that Retro Lancer down low uh, to fight for this. They wanted to play defensively. They didn't want to play directly in the fight. They wanted United to kind of uh, funnel in here. They were trying to bait them into that hill and then slay up and take, take these guys out. But Demo has even the odds here. You see Optic, they pushed themselves into this hill. Demo getting some good shots here with his Lancer. He's going to force that guy in the corner. He's kind of stuck there, but he does have the support of his teammates behind him. And he's going to try to get out, and he makes it out. So this is going to be a two-cap here by Optic Gaming. Yeah, Optic Gaming with the early advantage here in round number 10. 51 to 46, ENF under their control. United only controlling their home hills thus far, but the kills in the United's favors. Soto, he's able to shut down IC. Can Soto find a double? Trying to land some shots, just hiding in the smoke, waiting for his health to respawn. The E-Hill now could be United. So two down, but <laughs> explosive. Again, with the support weapons, he's just so good. He's keeping his distance. He's making sure he's putting shots out. Oh, oh, what a oh. sneaky. What? So sneaky. Wow. He just dipped and slid right oh. away. He gets it down. Explosive. Get the kill as well. He's not friend. able to get it. He gets the blind fire, and he stays alive, and he gets out of there. That's just... That's just some. That's that's how important movement is and perfecting your movement. So for especially new viewers, if you see the players out there kind of bouncing around and you're trying to follow, they're 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 closing the gaps. They're dodging shots, right? They're trying to slither out of those those difficult situations with that movement, and it's, and it's something very hard to perfect. It's very very difficult to perfect. And when you see players finally perfect it, it's a beautiful thing to see. It is. It really is. As uh, now looking at that scoreboard, it is a United and with the advantage. The new set of retro lancers are spawned up as well, so uh, players will be able to pick those up. You already see you got two in the hand of E United, and you only have one in the hand of Optic Gaming. You have to shut explosive down. That is going to be the key. You cannot allow him to just be a nuisance with those weapons. Spencer turns around and you can just see the damage that he's able to do. 
Fine summons, and again, playing for that Ethel. This is up to Gaming's home hill. United could be making the start of something special here. Of course, they were 6-2 down, looking to close this gap to 6-4. As we mentioned, you've got to do it round by round. The E-Hill now being kept as well. It's going to be God plays on there, but this isn't where the action is going to be. It's going to be over here at the Ethel. This matchup, you see Just him. He's not able to find the kills, and Optic Gaming will survive for now, but damage has been Demo done, does guys. does not need to back up too far. He does have the Retro Lancer. He just needs to position himself properly. He has the support of the rest of his teammates. Just stay alive. Katie, don't get the double. He's not going to get it. It's a little bit too little, too late. In United, another round here, 6-4. to four. If this goes to 6-5, this is where it gets scary. Up to Gaming, you're going to be having flashbacks from London. <laughs> you think? Absolutely. Yeah. You're playing against a team who you know has reverse swept you. The only team that's beaten you on this map at the LAN event. And it was a reverse sweep. It was a 6-3 comeback. To do it twice in a week. To make two comebacks. 6-2? You're, you're basically one on, making a play. It's like MB, MB, OG. MB. <sighs> we ain't afraid of you. We ain't afraid of you. One of envious in Optic Gaming. Oh, man. All right. All right. We're, we're still optimistic here. You know? Optic Gaming. Professionals yeah, right you, here, you right? Have to the be, best of the best. This, this United squad No way is... they don't close it out. Right, Benson? No way they don't close it out here. 6-1 league. I never... I am never going to count out the United. I'm just not... It just seems you're like... You're a smart man for that. That This is the kind of team who, if there was a team to do it, you know, you'd say it could be United. They just have so, such a clutch. Interesting weapon placement. They opt to put Sniper Center. It was still a, a placement down on an E-Hill, but they don't want any weapons there just yet. And uh, you will see these Retro Lancers up here on Respawn. Uh, well, they will all get picked up here. So, but... Everybody, they're focusing down low on an E-Hill. Not too many people focusing that. Actually, the sniper in mid-map, a lot of people are worried smoke. about that as well. Yep, you can see Dispenser just kind of looking over. And you see those smokes there, trying to see if a player can kind of walk in that smoke and kind of pick it out and kind of roll back into a teammate for a revive if he goes down. And it's these kind of situations where I, I feel like if you give a United enough time to think, that's when they're a deadly team. Yeah. When the Gaming runs at them, and just continuously, continuously runs at them, United don't have that time to react quickly. And that's when, if you go back to the earlier rounds in this map, that's when Optic Gaming was having so much success. Snipe got picked up by Lava as well. The, the slower pace, it suits e United. It really does. Again, you go back to London, when these two teams played against each other, think how slow the, those rounds were. Even the 10 second respawn rounds were slow as ice. Because ice is slow. Ice, he knows he's got to push for a squad here. God plays his. There you go. He's going to get that kill. They get two kills here. It's they they want a third kill. God plays goes down. They may take out Lava as well. He has snipes. Optic is playing it smart here. He's looking for help. He's not able to get it there. If God plays could have stayed alive in that situation, it would have been better for him. Meanwhile, players from United, they have overextended. They're playing home hills and Soto. Oh, them. Soto, he just wanted to retro. He just wants to get retro and leave right just, there. Just don't give it explosive, right? Yeah, just yeah grab he it, wanted to pocket out. it. That was a smart play. Even though it's, it's a small play, it's still early on in this round. Definitely very, very, uh, definitely very, very smart play here. At this and point. He's, oh, he's not able to get any, any help there. He did get one down, but just a little bit too close there. Could argue potentially overstayed. They could have wrapped back towards that E hill and used numbers. I agree, but him and Dispenser both have retro lances watching that hill. Dispenser needs to make sure he has an angle as well. Uh, they definitely could have downed all three of those guys with two retros watching the home hill. That place has to stay alive. Of course, this is a uh, round 11, so our respawns are extremely high with 18 seconds in this one, so, yeah. Optic with the two cap. Uh, they're being very, very cautious. New sniper spawns in five seconds here. Mid-map. United's gonna do the same thing though. They're gonna continuously play for Optic Gaming's home hill. They wanna force Optic to break their own setup at E. Then you can use your numbers, then you can flood that hill. That's gonna start with one kill. Soto cleans up summons. Can Dispenser and crew find the second? The D hill goes back up to them, but this is again where you need to see them pinch E. They need to almost collapse on that hill. You, you have the respawns, right? I mean, summons, he's still down and out of action. It's a 5v4. It really is here. You have to be smart. You have the two cap. E United is good watching both these home hills. I say they hold home hills to the end of the game. They they have to be They're very to smart the here. They're about to take the lead. This round is about to go all the way down to the wire guy. 180, 180. It's all tied up. E United now have the lead, but not for long because off the game, they're retaking D. A huge fight goes over there, and this is where E United have to make a decision. Do we push back to D? Do we go back to E? You have to get it. You can't let them cap that. They've capped the hill. Oh. That's going to be the game. Surely that's the game. Metzl just needs to win this 1v1. And up to gaming will surely be your North American 2K champs. He stays alive. What? The e oh. oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, e United! They did it! They did it! E United did it! Wow! How, Benson? How? What?
Dude, who was? I, I know, feel like Mitchell should have just stayed in the hill. But no, he thought his teammates had the home hill. You remember that they, they, we, we thought they won the fight. They won the fight at the home hill. It was an unsung hero there that we missed <laughs> to Optic. push through there and get their home hill. Optics like, all right, boom shot. Let's just yeah. Enough's enough. All right. 20 second respawn. I ain't getting reversed again. It ain't happening. <laughs> wow. <laughs> again, no, I have, no, they don't do it again. They don't. No, it, but, come on, Benson. No, they come don't. On. No, no, come on. Don't be stupid. It's the gaming here, it's right? Up, it's it's no, no shot. It is the green wall. Come on, this doesn't happen. No, no, not again. Uh uh. Opening the push United to start. does not take this to a game. Uh uh. No, 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 no. You got mental. He's gonna break ice on God. Plays the main slayer from the United. Goes down right here. But Lava has something Ooh, to say. Lava, Lava gets the double. Lava. He wants the third. Lava. He's Lava. in a fight with a meat shield, but explosive picks up one. They pick up another. Odds in favor of Optic Gaming. All up to demo, with the team on his back. Can he win his one v one? He needs to be aggressive. But you're gonna see the shot get held on him. He's full red, trying to stay yeah, alive. Difficult stay situation. Alive. No hills being capped here. But God plays. He's finally on respawn. He needs to be smart about this. He's gonna cap his home hill. Throw a smoke. Just do not take unnecessary damage. That is gonna be the key. Wait for your teammates to come up spawn. So does that. I believe Lava has just come up spawn as well. So is Dispenser. The United may have just. Oh, oh they killed him! No, please! A huge kill! That's Icy Death Boom down as well! Can you believe it? E United get the, once again! They didn't get the boom shot. Snipe being picked up. It's gonna be dropped back. Sniper in the hand of Kenny. Trying to hold off the E United assault right here. You're gonna have three Optic Gaming members down. They know exactly where he are. He's gonna put himself in a position to get E. He connects with the body shot. Now to drop back, revive his teammate. I'm having the pursuit is coming. I'm Kenny having goes down as well. That's three down. God plays. Looking to push the home hill. He has the 1v1 with summons. Can he hold him off? He plays smart. Waits for his team. Oh, but he says, I no. got this. Push in. Decap the hill. Come on. Dude. That's Scoot four dead. There. It's only there. Icy. Where is Icy? It all comes down to him. Where is he? He's an E. He's not going to get the hill. We're going to round 13, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Not like this. No, not this like happen. this. This like don't happen, right? Four rounds in a row Six for one? E United. Out the game. 6-1. Just... Vincent, calm down. It's going to be OK. It's gonna be like, things like this don't Flashbacks. happen. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. This is anti. Is this London again? No, Optic Gaming. They always they always tease us like this in these type of situations, right? All over esports, things like this don't happen. It's gonna be okay there, big fella. E e All right. United. It's gonna be okay. Going into this last weapon placement, Optic Gaming has an option here. They're gonna opt if to United do this take again. off the retro lances, put Botox down. Oh my All God. or nothing right here. This Optic Gaming closes out for the night in this anti-climatic match. Oh, does E United force the 6 1 comeback, folks? Blow it up in the chat. Who you want to win right now is about to go down. Opening I'm, break. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't worry, I'll take over this round, here, big fella. Okay. We're going to see this opening fight here. It's going to break down into B. We're going to have four players down here. Smokes are out. Mental gets done. They're rushing for the boom shot, trying to sneak. Actually, United's going to back up here. Intel's, Mental's waiting for the right opportunity. Explosive is walking up to it. He can't see through the smoke. No marks are being made. You're going to have players positioned up top. That's demo. He goes down. Mental makes the epic play right there. Boom shot still in play. Soto returns. He takes out Mental. The main slayer from Optic is down. Got Plays trying to support for his teammates. He's taking too much fire. He's gonna have to drop back to the corner. Soto getting some good cross. Boom is not picked up yet. Still in play. Uh, bear in mind, this is a 22 second respawn. We're in OT here. So if you die in OT, you're down and out for a serious amount of time. God plays doing such a good job. No hills have been capped at this time. You can see the importance of these power weapons for both these two teams. The emphasis comes through. Dispenser, he finds summons. Sniper rifle. Soto gets sniped Soto. as well. Advantage E United. Surely, after this hard work, after you climb to the top of the mountain, you force it to overtime, you have to close this out. You have to take advantage. Boom as well picked up by. Oh, God plays. oh, this, surely oh. United do not Mental broke away. ice though. God plays got a kill. That's two down. He also has the boom left. He needs to place this very well. Kenny trying oh. to make a play. Where's the boom shot? God plays got explosives. That's going to be three down from Optic. He's taking damage. He can't go down with that boom shot. Oh, you got to stay alive. He gets away. But they're, they're playing for two caps right. Oh, they got mental overextended. I think that's the, that's the overextension yeah. right Me there. Me yeah, oh. mental. He's been very sneaky. Of course, mental and summons were the only two players alive. And Optic Gaming have hung on by the skin of their teeth as now players are gonna oh, be off respawn he got hit in the back with a botox mental's trying to hunt him down right here he got caught with two shots he backpacked the sniper so optic gaming can't get it but soto was in a difficult situation god play still has that one boom two cap in favor of e united e united has uh, the advantage F here ff hill is going to be taken off the gaming they, they forced it you can see some but of this is where god plays needs to make the best of that boom he's playing strictly defense 
on top of this e heal. I feel like there's a time where you have to be aggressive, especially considering off the gaming. They do have the points lead. Bear in mind, yes, we are in overtime. It's very rare you see these go to points. It's normally trip caps, but you, you need to see him make a play. He, he's going to have to do something. I mean, if he uses it defensively, you, you really want to see him pick up a multi kill, and that gives you license to push through. He now recognizes players are on E. He's very, very weak. A couple players he's go down go as in well. here. There's and one. He, he may have shot this boom long range. He might not even actually have it here. He's still well, that alive. Would explain it. That would explain the, the, the decision making from him. But the E and F hill now get both going to be neutral. Up to gaming. They're excited towards F. Kills come in. Oh, icy gas snipe. This is good. This could be bad news bears here for E United. Icy in these situations. He comes clutch with snipe. Mental gets up one. God plays go down. They're forced e into they flood this into the, the pressure. E hill. This Lob is the pressure. He's picking up doubles all day. Can he get another one for the squad this here? This is for the game, essentially. There's two players are up to gaming on the E hill. Lover, he's going to have to go back. Hey, Someone's going to be there as well. F comes in clutch. Lover can just oof, take a breath. 143, though, Optic Gaming, they have such a high point lead. E United need to make a play. The kills come through from Optic Gaming. Now you need to clutch up. Dispenser, he starts his overextension up towards the D hill. He has got plays alive. He has demo alive. So do off spawn as well. Kenny has bone. E United probably have one push. At this point, you probably have one good it's definitely team a push. It's definitely a home hill pushes. Fight for the high side advantage right here. Kenny has boom on the low side of the map. You have to win this here. Demo's trying to come big here. He needs his teammates to have his back here. God plays back goes down. Game. Demos go down. It's and all, all up to lava. to lava on the E-Hill. But look at the points, folks. Nobody's going to be in position. He's only one man here, and that's going to do it. E and one of the best matches I've seen, but anticlimactic. Optic Gaming shuts this one out. 7-6.